next one uh, is about these chaps, Gilbert and George. Any art lovers here? Yeah, this is Gilbert and George. And um, it actually starts with uh, an epigraph, which is from the Times, and states as such. Correction. The image of the week on page five of the Knowledge Today purported to show Gilbert, the artist Gilbert and George looking uncannily like Morgan and Wise is in fact a Morgan and Wise. <laughs> We apologise for the error. So, <laughs> Gilbert and George are those lovable tosspots who make art at skinhead shit spunk and put their bare bottoms on the stained glass. And, uh, I researched this, and here they are. I'm not sure which one's which. <laughs> Oft times they dine in the same calf as me. I love a good calf. And who would have thought that? The old history of our country is there. The dark ages of black pudding, jam and toast, Tudor robustness, the imperial glory of the fried egg, industrial baked beans revolution, tall pot of Martha's mushrooms, the humble banger. This was their finest hour. And the insipid gentrification of the vegetarian option. <laughs> There's an honesty to that matters. Even if the clock is slow, it's turned the right time. This particular palace, Rossi's is featured on page 112 of Russell M. Davis's book, Egg, Bacon, Chips and Beans. I research this shit. The entry notes the biggest sauce for all you have ever seen. And indeed, it is a fine establishment. Wood, metal top tables, cheaply waitresses, all the necessaries. A decent breakfast serves not only body, but nourishes soul and feeds one's character. On this particular day, the cook had noted posters papered opposite for the chap's latest show was Jesus, a homosexualist. <laughs> Not one to be outdone, he prepares and personally serves two steaming plates to full Monty. Regular punters look on astonished at his hand delivered special. The fried eggs are made as eyes, the beans are there, black wooden nose, and the sausages are beaming green. With the plates laid down in front of them, the chaps look down as dead pan, as frying pan, and exchange plates. When George asks Gilbert to pass the brown sauce, a hush falls. <laughs>